Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at solving percent change word problems. So first, just as a quick review, percent change, it's also called um, percent increase or percent of decrease. The formula itself is very similar to the percent error formula. We're finding the absolute value of the difference between the values. We're dividing that by the original value that they give us. This is usually indicated with the word from or something along those lines if you're having trouble picking it out. And the times 100 over here is what helps us convert our decimal answer into a percentage. Okay, and also just keep in mind absolute value, these bars up here that you see, uh, turn a negative number into a positive number. It's measuring its distance from zero, so we're looking for the positive difference between our two numbers. Okay, so let's take a look at a problem. Using that formula on the last slide, I want you guys right now, if you want to quiz yourself or test yourself a little bit, hit pause. Try to solve this question using the formula. Uh, when you're ready to see the answer, go ahead and hit play. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. Uh, we're going to figure out which of these two companies had the larger uh, percent of change. So Nike, let's start with Nike. Do Nike in blue. The difference between their values, or the absolute value of the difference, is 160 minus 115. The order is not necessarily important here. Some people say original minus new value. Um, but again, we're finding the positive, so it doesn't really matter if we write 115 minus 160 and we have the absolute value bars. It's going to convert to 45 either way. And now we're dividing it by the original. How we can identify the original to where we started from. So I began at 160, so that's my original value. When we do the math here, we get 45 over 160, which we can simplify, or as a decimal, works out to 0.28125. And that's a decimal as of right now. So if we want to convert that to a percent, we move the decimal over two places, and it becomes 28.1, it's the nearest tenth, uh, percent. Okay, so that's an idea. Now let's take a look at Adidas. With Adidas, we're starting with the value of 60, and they rose to 78. So we saw an increase here. Um, we're finding the difference, the positive difference between them. So again, the order's not important. We put the large one first, um, just to save you some time. Um, and now the original here, again, keyword is usually from. It could vary a little bit. You're going to have to identify where you're starting at or your original value. So we're dividing by 60. When I do some math here, I get 18 over 60. And simplifying that, if I divided both parts by uh, 6, I would get 3 tenths, which as a percentage, nice and easy to see that this works out to 30%. It would be 0.3, which would then convert to 30%. So which company, let's look back at the question, I've experienced the larger percent uh, growth or percent change here? The answer would be Adidas. Adidas saw a 30% change in their stock shares, whereas Nike only saw a little bit over 28%. Okay, guys, after you've watched this, if you want to go ahead and try it now on your own, perhaps, or if you just want to watch it again to pick up the techniques, feel free to do so. Thanks for watching.